a three-time MVP throughout his 16 years of career in the NFL. Roman Gabriel achieved so much, but what happened to him? We're taking you into the remarkable life and luxury of one of the NFL's forgotten legends. This will be nostalgic. Our team researched multiple articles to make this video. From the New York Times, NBC News, and ESPN, you'll surely have a trip down memory lane. Let's get to know more about the first Filipino-American NFL quarterback. The legendary Roman Gabriel, who was the starting quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams in the 60s and 70s, started his meteoric rise to fame as a North Carolina State Wolfpack quarterback and academic All-American. Because of his exceptional athleticism, he set almost every passing record at North Carolina State. North Carolina Governor Terry Stanford formally retired Gabriel's jersey and awarded it to him on January 20th, 1962. The College Football Hall of Fame finally recognized his achievements 27 years later in 1989. Both the National Football League's Los Angeles Rams, his second overall selection, and the American Football League's Oakland Raiders, his first overall choice, took him in the first round of the 1962 draft. He played for the Los Angeles Rams for 11 seasons from 1962 to 1972. After signing a three-year, non-guaranteed deal of $15,000, Gabriel, who stood at 6 feet 4 inches and weighed 235 pounds, is widely recognized as the first big quarterback in NFL history. Between 1962 to 1972, he was a member of the Los Angeles Rams football team. From 1973 to 1977, he was an Eagles player. In 1969, Gabriel was named the NFL MVP. In 1973, he topped the league in passing yards. He was named to the Pro Bowl four times and led the NFL in throwing touchdowns two times. Not only that, but he was named to the 1969 First Squad All-Pro Squad and the 1973 NFL Comeback Player of the Year. From 1980 to 1982, Gabriel coached Cal Poly Pomona. From 1983 to 1991, he coached the Raleigh-Durham Skyhawks and served as offensive coordinator for the Boston Breakers. He was the number two overall pick of the Los Angeles Rams in the 1962 NFL Draft, was a big, strong man. His 154 passing touchdowns remained the team record for the Rams and he did it during an era when running the ball was more important. We know you've all been curious. Let's take a peek at his jaw-dropping net worth. Gabriel had a three-year baseball career, during which he was the team's leading scorer with 18 RBIs and five home runs as a junior. Roman Gabriel was worth an astonishing $2 million. He played and coached professional football in the U.S. In August of 1940, Roman Gabriel came into this world in Wilmington, North Carolina. He attended New Hanover High School and played quarterback for the Trojans. While a football player at North Carolina State University, Gabriel was named to the first team All-American and the Atlantic Coast Conference Player of the Year twice. At a later date, he had his NC State jersey retired. In addition to going first overall in the 1961 AFL Draft, Gabriel was selected second overall in the 1962 NFL Draft. Charity work in Roman Gabriel's North Carolina town is something he and his wife Lisa are very involved with. The couple's RG Sports Connection Trust has donated $4 million to various charities. It's clear that his financial success reflects not only his achievements on the field, but also his ventures off it. So how did Roman Gabriel get this rich? Let's check out his NFL journey. During his 16-year professional career, he was selected by the Rams in the first round of the 1961 NFL Draft. He was a staple in both the Los Angeles and Philadelphia offenses, and he was honored with four Pro Bowl appearances. The 1969 NFL MVP and the first Filipino-American quarterback, Gabriel, made history. His career in football launched him into other endeavors. 
He became an iconic figure in film and television advertising, appearing alongside John Wayne, Rock Hudson, Jackie Gleason, and Bob Hope. In 1973, for an Eagles squad that went 5-8-1, Gabriel had his best statistical season, throwing for 3,219 yards and 23 touchdowns. He now has four Pro Bowl nods to his name thanks to his stellar play. Gabriel, alas, had very little success in the postseason throughout his career. He had two playoff teams that were eliminated in the divisional round. The 1967 Los Angeles Rams were January 2nd 11, but were eliminated in the divisional round by the Green Bay Packers. Even though Los Angeles went 11-3 in his MVP season, they lost in the divisional round to the Minnesota Vikings. That could explain why, despite having more passing yards and touchdowns than three Super Bowl winners who were inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Bob Grease, Bart Starr, and Roger Staubach, Gabriel is not a member of the Hall. Gabriel completed 29,444 passes for 201 touchdowns and an 86-64-7 record in 16 seasons in the NFL. After his football career ended, Gabriel went into the media. He covered NFL games for seven seasons for the Carolina Panthers radio network and for a short time for CBS. Additionally, he entered the coaching profession and held the positions of head coach at Cal Poly Pomona from 1980 to 1982, offensive coordinator for the USFL's Boston Breakers in 1983, and head coach of the World League of American Football's Raleigh Durham in 1991. In addition to his headquarters in Pineville, North Carolina, he established Roman Gabriel Sports Connections in Arizona and California. The business hosted training seminars where Gabriel served as a keynote speaker. Roman was also the president of two North Carolina minor league baseball teams, one each in Charlotte and Gastonia. He raised almost $7 million for causes including MS, MSD, Leukemia, the Blind, Special Olympics, and the Salvation Army through his promotion of celebrity golf tournaments. At the peak of his career, how did Ramon Gabriel die? He was a four-time Pro Bowl quarterback and a former NFL MVP. At 83 years of age, he passed away on April 24, 2024. He died of natural causes some 60 years after his celebrated multi-sport career at NC State ended and more than four decades after his professional football career came to a close in 1977. His son, Roman Gabriel III, took to social media to share the news of his father's passing, stating that his father passed away quietly at home from natural causes. I am retired with heart problems and arthritis but happy, the elder Gabriel told the Los Angeles Times in 2021. He mentioned that he lived in both Little River, South Carolina, and Wilmington, North Carolina. The loss of Roman Gabriel, a football pioneer and legend of the Los Angeles Rams, is deeply felt, the team expressed on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. He was more than just a talented individual. He was a beloved figure whose contributions and spirit touched the lives of many. His memory will live on in the hearts of those who knew him and appreciated his work. Gabriel's story is one of perseverance, achievement, and legacy. His lifestyle and net worth further underscore the impact he made both on and off the field, leaving a lasting mark on the world of sports and beyond. We hope you like this video. If you want more of a celebrity luxury, be sure to subscribe to be ahead of the latest in luxury 